Welcome back. We're trying to make the Blue Helena cocktail, which will hopefully give Helena her voice back. Or at least give her confidence that she's got her voice back. Even if it's just a placebo, it's good enough. We melted the honey, so hopefully that will work now. Alright, sounds like it did something at least. And then we need some ice. And finally, um, lemon. Which is again not working because it's not in the machine. You can kind of see there's a lemon press over here. So let's take it. That should be all, so let's dispense our drink. My voice. God, that is atrocious. Horrific. It was too good to be true. George's Blue Helena is powerless. Ineffective on the voice of an old woman. But your voice is perfect. Don't be so down on yourself. You just need to warm up a bit, that's all. After all these years, it's to be expected. No, no, I am very grateful for all your efforts, but really, I cannot go on stage with such a puny, pathetic voice. My performance would be so poor. I would get such bad reviews. You've just got to get your confidence back, hasn't she, James? I must concur, madam. It sounds to me like your voice is fully restored. James, be quiet. You are a sniveling little creep. Okay, well that sounded pretty good to me, but Helena is not convinced. If you get the drink wrong, she won't like it and won't drink it. Which um, isn't a problem because you can just try again. I don't think you can run out of ingredients. The Blue Helena really does have a magical effect. Your voice is sensational. I am not convinced. If my voice has really returned, it is not ready. It is still not powerful enough. I tell you, you're wrong. The Calm Calls grad director is going to be amazed. My dear, how little you know. I remember a time, madam, when you would test your vocal prowess by breaking crystal tableware and decorations. Ah, those were the days. <laughs> Shards of crystal. I could never do that now. Crystal, huh? We do have a crystal glass. Maybe if her voice really is back. You know, for some reason, in my memory, you had to, like, fake breaking the glass to convince her to come. But, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm confusing it with a different game where something similar happened. Because that's definitely not the case here. All we need to do is put the glass on the table. And, oh, I thought it was just, she was just going to try it. But no, I guess we have to talk to her. My voice. My God, what have I done? My voice has returned. Did you hear that, James? My voice... My voice has returned. Your voice is still as magnificent as ever, madam. But please don't forget, 
You're no spring chicken these days. Time has taken its toll. And you're not the toy boy you once were either, James. I hope you have fun on your own. Madam, leaving you is quite out of the question. Don't be stupid, James. What would you do there? Your place is here. You must prepare my return. Madam, I won't insist. Adventure is not an integral part of my action functionalities. Maybe you're right, madam. As ever. Do I understand correctly that you're going to go with me to Comcallsgrad? You do, my dear. We're going on tour, my dear. Anchors away! I'll go back to the airship to prepare my departure. You can join me there when you're ready. James! Take me to my room. I must prepare. Quick! Quick! What are you waiting for? My fans are waiting for me. Are you sure you're sure about this, madam? Shut up, James, and put your foot on it. All right, that worked out. All we need to do now is head back to the airship to take Helena to Comcallsgrad. He's back to watching TV, so we don't need to bother him. Airship's this way. We just have to wait for Helena to show up. Hello? Hi, it's me, Olivia. Hey, sweetie, what's new? How was it at the Goldbergs then? Like, uh, alcoholic. Is that all? What's up? Cat got your tongue? Well, tell me what you're up to. How's the case going? How's that Romansky chick? You don't think it's dragging out too long? I haven't had the time to get bored, I can tell you that, but... Hey, Olivia, what's the matter? You didn't even answer my question. That's so unlike you. Did I tell you I bought this really cool blue silk top? Olivia, what are you hiding? Come on out with it. You've got me worried. Oh, Kate, I'm sorry. I've done something horrible. I can't sleep anymore. I... I can't eat. I keep wanting to hurl. Olivia, tell me what's going on. <laughs> Dan! What about Dan? Has something happened to him? I am weak. You're gonna hate me for the rest of your life, and you'd be right in your situation. I... What? After the Goldbergs, Dan took me home. We were a bit, you know, we shouldn't have drunk so much. He came up to mine to have a nightcap, and then... Okay, you're gonna hate me. Please hate me. I got it. It's all my fault. I could never tell you that I've had the hots for Dan for ages, because you're my friend, and you were engaged and all, but... But then we got so close lately, and I, I just lost sight of what's right and what's wrong. I... Kate, the guilt is killing me. I want to die. Look, don't bust a gut over it. You and Dan, it's its like not real right now. I gotta go, Olivia. I, I need to process this new bit of data. Are you like some automaton or something? Kate, please. I'm hanging up now. I want to be on my own. Doesn't seem like she's too broken up about that.
чорні, очі страсні, очі шкучі і прекрасні, як я мух я вас, як боюсь я вас. Oh gee, the incredibly shady, untrustworthy looking guy has in fact betrayed us. Nobody saw that uh, coming. Looks like he wants to keep Helena for his own. Um, what are you doing? Don't think we can go reason uh, with him about it. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try. That, that's a no, then. Yeah, so... In addition to hand theft, we can now add kidnapping to his resume. Which does leave us with a bit of a problem, because we can't actually uh, leave without getting the hands back. That door is locked. Um, well, we could open it, I guess. Um, but we don't really want to get out of here anyway without... At least rescuing, rescuing Helena, because... It is, after all, our fault that she's in this predicament. I mean, it was nice getting to hear her sing, I guess. But not at this price. Kate, help me. What is happening? What does this man want of me? He has gone totally mad. Don't worry. There must be some way of getting you out of there, and I'm going to find it. But do hurry up, my child. I am terrified he will return and become dangerous. Be strong, Madame Romansky. You can trust me. Honestly, it looks like she could just fit through these holes. Let's see. It's a lock? This lock looks fairly solid. We don't have a key, nor any way of finding one, but we do still have metal shears. Oh, at last, young lady. I was beginning to be desperate. I came as fast as I could. Now hurry! Get out of here quickly before that maniac notices. I've got to get Oscar's hands back. Don't hurry or anything. Okay. Well, we've got to get Oscar's hands back, which is a bit of a problem because we couldn't do it before, so... Why could we do it... now?
That just looks like a screw. What the fuck? Yeah, I know I don't often swear <laughs> in my videos, but that, I think in this particular case, the F-bomb is entirely warranted. <laughs> this is a very accurate reenactment of how I felt when this happened the first time I played this game. I'm just like, you've got to be kidding me. These hands were just screwed on. We could have just taken them. The screws were covered by the, the sleeves, I guess, but... Nothing stopping us from just getting at them, try, or at least trying. And I will remind you that we found the screwdriver here. We had it. There was nothing to stop us from getting Oscar's hands back, except for the fact the game didn't let us. And I will remind you, I didn't trust this guy. And that's not just something I was saying because I've played this game before. The first time I've played it, I thought it was really, really obvious that the director could not be trusted. His plan was stupid, insane. He was clearly incredibly obsessed with Helena. So, no big surprise that he tried to like kidnap her and keep her here uh, for his own amusement, I guess. Like, what were you expecting to happen? Really thought that he was just gonna give the hands back he, after he stole them like that? <laughs> like, honestly, I d didn't understand at all why Kate would even entertain going along with this plan of his, other than the fact that it seemed like that there was no alternative. It looked like there was no way you could get these hands back. None. So, <laughs> I guess that wasn't true at all. We could have just gone back here, gotten the hands, gotten out of here before he even realized what um, what happened. He could argue that since he has these monitors, maybe he would have noticed us doing that and would have stopped us. Fine, then do that. Like, let us try and stop us. Or, or don't have the screwdriver here. Make that something you pick up in, um, in Arlbot or something. So you cannot get the hands without having gone there first. Because that's literally the only reason I would have ever wanted to help this guy if there was no other option. And the game presented it like there was no other option. And <laughs> it just turns out you have made me do all of that. Go to the Cosmodrome. Possibly kill a guy by shooting him into orbit with some weird spring-loaded rocket and then go to Arlbot, lie and cheat to get in, convince the Helena to come back, get her captured, put her life in danger as well. Oh, well, we sh could have just gotten the hands the whole time. <laughs> it is just so ridiculous. It, like This part of the game, it just broke me. Okay, it just broke me when I first played it and this happened. I was like, oh my god, you have got to be kidding me. We could have just taken him. We should have just taken him. And like I said, I would have been fine if they just made it so that you couldn't, so there really was no alternative. But don't get back here and then show me that we didn't need to help this guy at all. Oh my god. Well, rant over. I did promise you at the beginning there would be a rant in this game, and this was it. Like, of all the stupid design decisions, this is just so terrible. It bothers me, as you can clearly tell. Anyway, I guess we did get his hands back. Finally. Time to leave. Are you all right, madam? My heart has been put to the test here, but it just might hold up. Let's go. Let's not hang around here. Uh, 
Um, was that supposed to animate the door opening? Because it didn't. Oh! But, my god! What has happened now? Ha ha! Nice try, Miss Walker! But you are not strong enough. Not for me. So you can stop playing games now. Return the hands to me. And bring Madame Romansky back. Or I shall not be responsible for my actions. You don't scare me, you old lunatic. Helena, grab the hands and get back to the train. Tell Oscar to get ready to leave. I'm gonna find a way out of this lousy factory. No chance. You will never succeed. Ha! We'll just see about that. I warned you, Kate Walker! I warned you! Be careful, my child. You too. And don't worry. Well, that went about as well as could be expected. Like, see, this would have been fine if we, if like something like this would have happened when we first tried to get the hands. Like he saw us and stopped us, and then said, "Like, no, I want you to help me first. I will get the hands back." Blah blah blah, and then we have no choice. Fine. But don't act like we could have just tried to take the hand back, hands back, which is what it sure seems like. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll give it a rest now. This also seems kind of counterproductive to his plans, because now Helena and the hands are outside the factory and I'm inside. And I'm not what he wants. That door is locked. Well, we're not getting out that way. Well, I guess we'll have to find another way out in the next video.